I'm always on my child's side, always. And uh, I am his advocate in a sense, because the rest of the world, of course, is not. So that, and I have a feeling that you feel the same way, so that if a child comes to me and complains about the way his teacher talked to him, you see, I would never say what some parents say, oh, and you didn't do anything, and you didn't deserve it. You think your teacher has nothing to do but just to cater to you. You know she has. You see, I would never take the teacher's side. By the way, I would never t talk against the teacher either. But I say to myself, my child is hurt. And what he needs right now is emotional first aid. Exactly as if he came to me and said, my knee bleeds. I would run and put some Band-Aid on his knee. I also now run and put some Band-Aid on his soul. And so I would say, I would acknowledge his feeling. I'd say, oh, that must have been a terrible experience for you. Hmm, that must have really made you feel angry. Or whatever feelings that he brings. Uh, you have a... Uh, First of all, I would like, uh, when a child is angry at somebody as a teacher, I deal with it, Phil, you mentioned, uh, maybe he has a reason. Emotions are always valid. I do not argue with emotions. I do not argue with feelings. When a child comes and says, the bus driver called me stupid idiot three times and he pushed me, I don't say to him, and what did you do? I mean, you did, you did nothing. It's enough the way you look at somebody to have you call, uh, to call you stupid. No. I look at him and I said, you mean this happens in front of all your friends? He says, yeah. I said, I bet it made you angry. He says, yeah. I said, I bet it made you furious. He says, yeah. I said, I bet you felt like telling him a thing or two. He says, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but in other words, what is my goal? My goal is to diffuse his anger. My goal is to diminish his anger. His Do you hurt. know why? Because nobody else does it.